Welcome to Gary's Glorious Golden Nuggets. This is episode 0027. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're honored to have Irina Kraskoskina. And she's going to be laughing now because I probably mispronounced her name. She's a digital marketer. She is a social media marketing mentor. She's founder of the Carton Digital Creative Agency. She's been seven years an entrepreneur. She helps businesses with their business to customer marketing as well as business to business marketing. She is in Ukraine running this wonderful lean and mean agency, but she has a worldwide clientele across Europe, North America, and the former Soviet republics. She is there helping people to target their advertising and offering consultation services. So I want to welcome you, Arena, to Gary's Glorious Golden Nuggets. Hello, hello, hello. It's good to be here. It's really wonderful to have you here, my friend. So when you decided that you were going to become an entrepreneur, what was the one thing you wish you knew before you started? When I started my business, I didn't understand anything in accounting, actually, in finance. I even didn't have an account. But I had a great desire to do my job and achieve my goals uh, and dreams. But that's not enough, actually. I think it will be cool if everyone who wanted to do business for a start, they received education in the field of finance actually, and uh, was obliged uh, to have an accountant. Many people do it on their own at the start, and they make uh, a lot of mistakes and get a lot of fines. They get some frustrated and waste their energy and their own place. So if you're weak in something, this, get some help. That begin. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I think every entrepreneur who begins really is more of a generalist than a specialist. It's they need to hire specialists along the way. The entrepreneur has the vision, but there are other people that you need to hire who are specialists in things that you're weak in to help you get there. And there is nothing worse than an entrepreneur who ends up with huge financial penalties because they didn't get the numbers right. I had the penalties. <laughs> and you moved on. If we're talking about what yeah. you've learned in, in the process of being an entrepreneur, one of the things is, is that people keep falling down and what makes an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is they keep getting back up. So when you consider all of the things that happened that didn't go well, what was the biggest thing that didn't go well? When you have a problem, a failure, something that you wanted to do and it didn't go right, what was the biggest one of those that didn't go well? And what did you learn from? I remember when I played basketball professionally, I remember that at some point I started to be afraid to make mistakes. I was very excited on my fear. This lead that my efficiency decreased. I was wrong even more and lost the confidence of the coach and the team. And one time I stopped and didn't understand what happened with my body. Just after years, I realized that you need to go where you are very scared. This is your strength test. Only in this way, you will reach an, a new level in your life. This was a, a little failed after which I understand this thing. And in my job, I try to put myself always where I, uh, when I'm scared <laughs> and open myself on new levels. I think, I think that's really relatable. When you focus on your fear, then you doom yourself for even bigger failures in regards to that fear. And as entrepreneurs, we begin to believe in the law of attraction. Whatever we put our focus on, that is what we begin to attract. And so if we focus on success, we begin to attract more success. Would you agree with that? I agree with that. Sometimes we're scared and our body done listening and fail, 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 fail all the time. But when you just go forward, and even if you're scared, you just go forward and do new steps, you forget for that scare, for that things which you scared before, and just put yourself on new levels. 
You know, I served time in the American military arena, and one of the silly things I did while I was there was I decided to be a, a paratrooper, somebody who jumped out of airplanes with a parachute. And to tell you the truth, I was kind of scared of heights, and I was absolutely terrified with the concept of jumping out of a perfectly good airplane with the idea that people could want to shoot me when I landed on the ground. After three weeks of constant training, constantly going through motions in my mind, chanting these different things that they had you chant when you run. By the time I got to the airplane with all the gear on and they had to stand up and I was hooked up and they were shuffling us out the door, I did all of that very automatically. As soon as I jumped, though, I felt this fear just flush through me, but it was too late. I'm out of the airplane. I'm waiting for my parachute to open up. And as soon as that parachute opened and I saw that beautiful canopy wide above me, the fear vanished. And I had the biggest thrill of my life all the way down to the ground. And I couldn't wait for the next jump. But when I took that jump, I felt all that fear all over again <laughs> until I jumped. But I just found it became awesome. shorter and shorter and shorter. And I imagine that's, that's what it is, just being an entrepreneur, doing something you're terrified of and then feel the thrill of success. You turn off your audio, Gary. You yep. turn off yep. your okay. audio. Okay. So I, I'm just kind of wondering at this point, my friend, what would you do if somebody came up to you and said, I want to be an entrepreneur? What do you suggest? How would you answer that question? Always be hungry, especially to self-education, to everything new. Be always in stream. You know, social media marketing uh, and digital in general, in general, are changing very quickly, actually, in this world. Trends, tendencies, technical uh, functionality. Uh, you need to all the time try, test, experiment, and find your way. I think that's absolutely correct. That would be good information to give to anybody who wants to come in. They need to know what they're selling, and they need to just do it. So there you go. That's really great. So... What are the resources that you have found personally that helped you along your way as an entrepreneur? It's education, practice are the best resources actually for me. And we started our business with my partner without investment, actually just to thank, thanks for education, using our knowledge and experience, constant self-education and uh, supporting of people who believe in us it was the great the great things too actually people who believe in us they help us to understand that we do right things uh, the two that we do a great big things and help business with that kind of job what, uh, which we do I, th I think that's just amazing so if you could sit back and say okay those are the resources but what three people three books, three anythings have been most helpful to you along this journey in helping you to develop yourself as an entrepreneur. In 2012, uh, I became a mother and uh, I had to, to change profession in degree actually. <laughs> so I think my daughter is the first and the most important person, which led me to what I do now. The second, my business partner, he believed in me and help to reveal my professionalism, thanks uh, to him. And uh, of course, my husband, he supported me uh, and invested in my education all the time. It's important, I think, for every entrepreneur to realize that they are not a solo entrepreneur. There's people there who will support them along the way, sometimes just to be a cheerleader, but sometimes there's a community of people who are out there who can give you clues and ideas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been listening so far in this podcast, Arena has dropped a few golden nuggets for you to pick up along the way towards your personal success. So listen closely because I'm sure there's more to come. So, Arena... Do you have a community of professionals that you work with that support you in your entrepreneurial pursuits? 
Yes, of course. We create the community, have, had some networking all the time. A lot of communities, actually. You know, I, I'll tell you, I think networking is so underrated. People really need to be networkers. And networking has the word working in it. So many people think networking is drinking, sitting down with people and having a drink together. Maybe that might be part of it, but the matter is, is you got to be working, getting information, sharing information, building trust. That's what it's all about, that networking. That's what community is. I found my partner on the networking. We, we met actually when we played Mafia uh, together and we met there and uh, talk about what we do, what we can and to start a business together. That's the way it is, isn't it? I mean, I'm partially here as a podcaster today because of people I met in Toastmasters International. So, uh, you know, it's, it's the network, the community, the people that you work with. And I would never have developed as a podcaster if it hadn't been a community of people who belong to the Six Figure Mentors organization. They've really helped me to find my voice. So we're always growing, aren't we? So let me ask you this. You're an entrepreneur and there are a lot of myths about entrepreneurs. People just say, oh, you know, if you get on the market digitally, th this is true. This is what happens to everybody. I'm going to give you an opportunity to just choose one of those myths, tell us what the myth is, and then you get a chance to destroy it for everybody about how easy it is to be an online entrepreneur. People in Ukraine say that social media marketing is, is about posts about cats. No, <laughs> social media marketing is not about posts about cats. Uh, Actually, here you can do a lot of different interesting work. You can write strategies, make a design, write content, create target ads, be a project manager, uh, create your own agency and make good money and uh, working anywhere in the world. There you go. The myth is busted. I think but I loved it because she yeah. said you can work <laughs> anywhere in the world. And to me, this is what the digital yes. marketplace has done. It's leveled everything. You can live in Ukraine and make just as much money as if you did the sale in New York City. You can live in a hut in the savannas of some jungle. And if you have internet connection, you have just as much presence as somebody who is in Los Angeles today. I love it. Tell me a little bit more about this because really that's what people are really wanting to know. Okay. I came on the profession and starts from content. Yeah. I write a content in Facebook, in another in Pinterest, different social medias for small and big businesses. After that, I start to learn marketing and open for me different ways. For example, target ads. You need to have some technical knowledge for it. If you know good maths, I think you can be very good in, in this. So you can create ads uh, in social media for business. Maybe if you draw good or you love design, you're creative, you can work on it. You can create uh, good pictures in social media <laughs> for posts, maybe with cats, of course, in the time. <laughs> if you know all of these things, you can be a project manager project manager have a good actually have good can have a good money just on the level with it specialists and of course soon you can grow up to your own agency and learn people how i do it now in my job i have online courses and people study and, and go that go uh, work on, on which they can find can choose for them, themselves on uh, that field or on design or on content or something else, what uh, they try and understand that they can do it good. That's all, maybe any question, I think it's all what I want to say. Great, super. That's, that's a lot of information right there and people can figure it out. I mean, there's, there's just so much opportunity. And yeah, that's what I really like hearing. If there's a question I should have asked you, Arena, that I haven't asked you, but you think you should tell us the answer to that question. 
Number one, what is the question and what is the answer? If you didn't work in digital marketing, what would you do? <laughs> I'll ask myself. I think that I would be a singer from the childhood. It was my dream. Yeah, my small dream, maybe one day. Yeah. One day you'll sing, <laughs> sing but yeah. right now you're a digital marketer. And who knows, you know, with recording systems now coming online, I, I've talked to rappers actually, who did everything online everything so there you go you know we can have the arena wrap you know someday <laughs> that sounds good so people contact you arena what's the best way to get in touch with you you can find me on facebook looking for ira krasotkina on facebook or in on instagram smm.mentorka or cartonagency.com my site so you can find all information about agency and about myself we are situated in Lviv in ukraine ladies and gentlemen know? all those contact details in the show notes don't worry about it don't pull over to the side of the road trying to find a pencil to write it down You'll have it all right there in the show notes for you. You know, Irina, one of the things that I do mm -hmm. is I give everybody who comes on this show two minutes to speak about anything, anything they want to say, whatever's on their heart. So your two minutes start now. Today, many people are looking for a new profession because life went online. I know where to start and develop. Because for me, this is a reality for many, many years. If you have any question, you are welcome. You can write me anytime and I will help. And one more thing, not for two minutes, but love. Spend time only on what you love. Dream every day. Write all your dreams and live here and now. I love the fact that you ended on love. So many people go to work someplace they don't love. They spend so many hours yeah. doing what they don't love. They talk to people whom they will never love. They get into the commute home full of people they don't even want to know. They walk into the door so exhausted from this day that even when they're with the people they're supposed to love, they can't love them. They're just tired, they're worn out, they're grouchy, they're mean. And then they go to bed, wake up in the morning and start the whole cycle all over again. Do what you love. Life is a lot better that way, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Irina, thank you so much for your wisdom that you shared today. Beautiful golden nuggets, beautiful nuggets. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Irina from the Carton Agency. They're located in Lviv, Ukraine. Beautiful city, by the way. If you ever get a chance to go to Ukraine, it's one of my favorite cities just for its beauty. The other thing that I would say is this is an international agency. They are dealing with clients from all over the globe. Check them out. Now, we thank you for attending. Thank you. And we thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to the show today. This is the end of our episode. If you've enjoyed it, please do subscribe to Gary's Glorious Golden Nuggets and share it with somebody that you think may appreciate it as well. We deliver three times a week, guaranteed an episode for you, sometimes more. And we will catch you on the next episode. Thank you, Arena. Thank you so much.